The same year was the Danish Prince. Honorable guests, in Norway, the 17th of May is a day of, is a day of celebration and appreciation for the values of peace, sovereignty, freedom, democracy, and human rights. In 2023, the international community again has been reminded, reminded most brutally that these values cannot be taken to ground. Russia's brutal invasion of Ukraine represents an attack most cruel from all these values. We have all hoped that the era of the international crime of aggression, of trying to change international borders through the use of military force, was behind us. Russia's aggression is a clear and unacceptable violation of international law. This is a flagrant breach of the most fundamental of the rules of international relations. Respect for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of UN member states. It demonstrates complete disrespect for the UN Charter and poses a threat to the international order that was established on the 1945. Ukraine and the Ukrainian people have our utmost sympathy and admiration today as they immediately continue to resist the Russian onslaught. A considerable loss of life and material including civilians willfully and in different ways by the main forces. Ukraine is defending today not only itself, but also our shared world order and principle that relationships between states should be determined not on the basis of power but by international law. On this day, when our regions and their friends at home and abroad, including here in Islamabad, celebrate our Constitution Day, I would like to express to the Ukrainian people and this government and armed forces represented here today by my Ukrainian colleague, our deepest gratitude, admiration, and unwavering support. Dear Ambassador Shuzo, please accept the heart of sympathy and deep respect and gratitude. A striking feature of the Constitution Day celebrations in my country, although not so striking in this garden, is the Children's Parade, which takes place in every single village and town in Norway. This year, a number of Ukrainian children have been joining hands with the religious sisters and brothers in parades in several religious villages and towns. Ladies and gentlemen, on a happier note, Norway and Pakistan enjoy excellent bilateral relations. At the level of peoples, too, relations are close and very warm. The Norwegian Pakistani diaspora, one of the largest in Europe, is an important bridge between our two countries and contributes to making my job as Norway's ambassador to Pakistan a rewarding and enjoyable one. Having arrived in Islamabad in October last year, I am grateful for the warm, if not the literal terms, with which I belong. I am particularly grateful to Captain Price and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, who I have received and for the good cooperation in joining some of these two speaking and out. Additional Secretary Dr. Singh, Chief Protocol is Ground Cup, that we have enjoyed us yet. Other good colleagues, it's an honor and pleasure and that you have joined us, who will be joining us this evening. Thank you very much for being And I would also like to acknowledge with my sincere thanks to President this evening, all the several former ambassadors of Pakistan in Norway, including Ambassador Sarita Masood and Ambassador Sahir Kurdis Khan. Thank you too very much indeed for your Norway is a significant investor in Pakistan. Telenor Pakistan, represented here today by CEO Irfan Bahad Khan, is the largest single Norwegian investment in Pakistan and one of the largest European investments. I'm sometimes told by interlocutors when meeting the Salah and elsewhere that Telenor is leaving. I think Irfan will not mind me saying that this will not be further from the truth. Telenor is here to stay. Today, there is a role in creating a positive impact in the lives of over 50 million citizens of this bad country. We will continue to do so in the future. This is a matter of considerable pride for us here at the Embassy, even as we are a bit envious of your fun and his colleagues for their fantastic campus office in Bloomberg Greens. Another Norwegian company, Scotec. ASA, represented here today by country manager Ijaz Anwar, is now embarking on a landmark energy project, the construction of a solar power plant 
and so forth in sync in partnership with the Park County and Sun Energy. We are very excited about this project, which I have the opportunity to discuss, including many meetings with Chief Minister Moral Ali Shah and the sort of energy in Tasheikh in Karachi last week. It is an environmentally friendly project that, when completed, will generate hundreds of megawatts of renewable energy and creates voice of jobs. I firmly believe that Scottex's project in Sopur will demonstrate to other Norwegian companies that Pakistan is open for business and most concerned with investments. A key priority for this embassy over the next years will be to support, as best we can, representatives of business and industry from both countries engaged in trade and economic cooperation. Pakistan and Norway have the potential to create much more and do much more business together. Dear guests, in addition to celebrating the values of freedoms and national love the 17th of May, in Norway, structure around the fundamental principle that children for one day can have many hot dogs and ice creams as they would like. Although the menu is slightly divergent.